joined today by Father Richard Bowman, who's pastor here at Bellman Chapel. Thank you for joining us, Father. Thank you. Um, we're here to talk about Easter. We've spent the last 40 days uh, preparing for Easter, and now we've reached Holy Week. Um, tell us what that's all about. Well, when you talk about Holy Week, you're talking about, let's say, holy time. Okay. Um, something sacred. Something that's uh, holy, not because of what we make of it, but what of, let's say, what God has made of it already. It's a time when God is especially active, and we're paying attention to that. What has God done for us? It begins with the entry of Jesus Christ on that Sunday we call Palm Sunday. And that's a kind of destination Sunday for a lot of Catholics, wherever they are in the world. You know, they want to come back and get connected during Holy Week and attend on Palm Sunday. It's the only liturgy of the year that almost always and everywhere begins outdoors, out under the sky gathering the branches and paying attention to the story of the original Sunday entrance of Jesus, which was the entrance of the prophet into his hometown. That meeting um, is an important element of the meaning of the week because you're meeting a, a figure who is a prophet with a bunch of people who are not all that clearly motivated. Um, there's contention among them. The stories of the week include betrayal and, um, and arguments about preference and status. That's the kind of uh, a group Catholics discover they are when they pay attention to who we really are as we uh, meet Jesus. And Jesus has no criticism about that. He is completely intent on awakening us to something deeper and better that can happen as we give ourselves to him and who he is. And there are certainly other parts of the week, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday. Uh, they tend to get overlooked because of Easter. Uh, tell us a little bit about those, what those are all about. That's true, they, they do get overlooked. I know to some extent people move from Palm Sunday to Easter Sunday, but um, we think of those three days almost as the heart of the Christian year. We call them now typically by a Latin name, Triduum, which is to refer to them as a single event, a three-day event. Um, the, the liturgy of those three days, which concern the events of Jesus's passion and his burial, are um, considered to be a single liturgy beginning on the evening of Holy Thursday with the gathering at the table for the Eucharist, the first Eucharist in its way, and the service of Jesus washing the feet of the disciples, uh, a part of the liturgy which is reenacted here in this room. Moving to Friday, the lifting up of the wooden cross, and there is no mass on Friday, just a uh, communion service and a remembering of the whole passion as we listen to it and pray over it and pray for the world. And then on Saturday, the reintegration of the community around the light of Christ and the waters of baptism. Uh, Easter doesn't just stop on Sunday, it continues, the celebration continues on through Eastertide. Tell us a little bit about that and what's that all about. It's good to take up uh, Easter Sunday itself. Um, when the women went to the tomb and came back with news, um, that news was not, oh, okay, everything's all right now. Jesus has risen and gone to heaven. The news was, he is with us. That was the news. And that changed radically the way the Christians understood themselves. That's why they latched on to Sunday as the time that they had to celebrate every week. Because the resurrection is an occurrence which alters the way we think of our mission. It's uh, the way we think of ourselves as spirit-invested people and as people for whom Jesus is continually available. He has risen for all time. He's risen among us. So we take heart there on that Sunday and for the next six Sundays, so there are seven Sundays of Easter in all, we keep celebrating again and again the stories of the resurrection and the stories and accounts of Jesus as our shepherd, as our friend, as our consoler, and as the one who gives spirit. It all ends on Pentecost Sunday, uh, 50 days out from Easter. It's good news indeed. Yes. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.